We begin with breaking news this evening. A fluid situation on both sides of the river. A man wanted for multiple crimes in both Illinois and Missouri is now in custody. It started this morning when a deputy was shot and killed along Interstate 64 in Wayne County. Then the man suspected of shooting him was allegedly involved in a carjacking and shooting in St. Peter's. Thank you for joining us. I'm Casey Nolan. We'll follow the path of these crimes starting where it ended with Holden Kerwicki, who is live near Carlisle. That's where the suspect was arrested. Holden. Well, Casey, I got out here about 1.30, and this area of rural Clinton County, there are very few houses, but when I got out here, there were dozens of police cars from everywhere from the Clinton County Sheriff's Office to Illinois State Police and even the U.S. Marshals. Now, while details have been slow to be released, we can tell you that the suspect ditched the Toyota truck that he stole in Missouri in the nearby community of Pierre, and that's about 10 miles away. At about 1 o'clock, officers were then called to a, a home along Beaver Road in rural Clinton County with a report that that suspect had taken a hostage inside of the home. According to a family member of that hostage, the short standoff was ended when a SWAT team was able to take the, the suspect into custody. Now, I'm told both the suspect and his hostage were treated for minor injuries at the scene, but we still do not have identities. We're waiting for the Illinois State Police to release more information. We'll bring that to you on air and online as soon as it becomes available. Reporting live in rural Clinton County, Holden Kerwicki, five on your side. Holden, thank you. This is the same suspect accused of a carjacking and shooting of a driver at the Quick Trip gas station in St. Peter's, this morning, five on your sides. Ryan Henson has been there for most of the day. He continues our team coverage with a closer look at what he's been learning there. Ryan. Well, the big thing that law enforcement's taken away from this situation now that it's over, they're just thankful that this nightmare scenario is finally over. Unfortunately, several people had to get hurt or came into harm's way before this man could be caught. But this all started about 710 this morning right here at this quick trip. Uh, when police got a call about a person who had shot, uh, who had shot and injured a driver, they say that man then gave up his Chevy Cruze, and that suspect then took the Chevy Cruze, went out into St. Charles County. It was found actually in O'Fallon, but then they also got a report that a white Nissan truck was stolen. So then police were out looking for that as this manhunt went on pretty much all day long. I asked police, you know, what's the number one thing that you would tell someone who's put in a situation where they have to decide between their vehicle or their life? It was unavoidable. So you can't avoid everything. And in those situations, the best thing to do is not to argue with the person and just give up your property because your life is not worth it. Police say the suspect got here after forcing a semi truck driver to drive him from Illinois and Eastern Illinois from what we're getting reports of. We're told that driver is safe and OK this evening. I'm Ryan Henson, five on your side. Ryan, thank you. The suspect is the same man who is wanted in connection with the deadly shooting of a sheriff's deputy in Wayne County, Illinois. That's along the Illinois Indiana border. Deputy Sean Riley arrived at a call around 5 a.m. when another deputy arrived on the scene. They found Riley's body and his squad car stolen. That car was later recovered along I-64. Here's a recap of what we know right now. The suspect in a bi-state crime spree is now in police custody. It all started, as we said, in Wayne County, Illinois, around 5 in the morning with the shooting of the deputy. Then shortly after, we had a semi-driver. He had a driver drive him to the quick trip in St. Peter's, and that is where the suspect shot and carjacked another person. The suspect then went back to Clinton County, Illinois, where we've learned of the latest situation we saw there. There's still a heavy police presence there. That started around 1230 near Carlisle. Law enforcement has confirmed a five on your side that the suspect was arrested around 145 this afternoon. And as you heard Holden and Ryan say, there are still a lot of moving parts with this crime spree. We'll continue to follow all of the developments. We'll have updates on air and online. KSDK.com and our mobile app.